Oh, hello there everybody and welcome to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns Part 1. This game came out in 2011 and this is based off Alice in Wonderland. Except Alice Little has black hair and she has green eyes. She used to have blonde in the Disney, did she? Now let's start up a new game. Go on easy. Gamma. In vertical look, no thanks. The Rutledge Asylum. They earned their hallucinations and paid for them. High streets and stuff. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploding. You have the main villain, by the way. Hammer in my chest. That's yes. Well, that's Doctor Angus Bombing. Is high. My memories make me and the main vomit. hero. Is what Alice can I remember Why does she have short things? hair? I want to forget. Why is she wearing a black and white stripes? Prisoned by their broken memories. Yes. I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more Isn't often that than a blessing. Is a psychiatrist so with said Dr. Bombay? Many times. And, and I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. Oh. And she gets up. It's my turn to forget, Alice. No, oh. Charlie. That's Charlie. Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past Whoa. is dead, Charlie. That was harsh. Oh, let's read this one. Let's go in the boys' room. And... Ollie pinched me smalls. Whoa. Where bloomers. Worse than your room? I'll press the X button. It'll give you information. My stories to the children bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Why are they drawing Dr. Bumby? Let's head in the girls' room. Click the right stick to enter first person camera mode. Wasting doctor's time? Whoa. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Ugh. Oh, perfect. If I press. I press the R stick. First person view. Ten years in the loony bin. The loony bin? Like the insane asylum? Alright, we'll get out of this. Doctor's pet. Don't call me Another Doctor's day, Pet. A different dream, this is the uh The Hound Stitch Home for Wayworth Youth. And look at this guy playing the music. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a cat. Oh. So this is outdoor food. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Like, uh, like Puss in Boots. Ever read that story? What? When, who is Alice calling a cat a puss? Like Puss in Boots. Anyway. Let's follow this cat. And what's that over that there? Gone? All living things die eventually. Still, the creature's remains are always poignant. Why do they have animal carcasses over there? Nasty. But follow that cat, Alice. And I can hear dogs barking. Meow. <laughs> Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Yeah, hopefully it's not a vice. Uh-oh, she's hallucinating. A fish with rabbit teeth? More of these guys? My stars and garters, Alice Little. There's Summer the nurse. Again, are we? Nurse Whitless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Nurse Whitless. You look frazzled, dearie. 
Not doing well? Just two teeth. Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Why does she have a big nose? Skip that. Ah, on top of the building. That's a lot of pigeons. I press the left trigger, but it'll give you the main objective view. Nurse Whitless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Uh oh. More oh, needs water. Oh no. A human transformation. Oh no, the crown's breaking. Pretty birds. Like you. Alice is in the void. No. To her blue dress and her hair grew long. Listen and look out for pig snouts. Yeah, pig snouts are one of the collectible items that we're going to be finding. Well, some of them, but not all of them. It's going to be hard to find. Anyway, we're in Wonderland. There are a lot of dominoes flying and blue butterflies. Why is Alice's dress covered in blood? What are that blood stains on them? Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. Who's Pris? At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. I think that's Dr. Pris. About time too, Alice. That's the Cheshire Cat. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, <laughs> you're taking a Perfect. You're no help at all. He's but pretty you know awesome. I can be. I'll frighten myself when necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. Uh, a new a law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice a bird all cow? round. We're at risk here. This... You be on your guard. Huh, he just disappeared. We're in the Veil of Tears. Yep. Half bird, half cow. And it flew away. And this is a little memory. Alice Little. That's that Little is Alice's last name. So press the X button to recover the memory. You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. Yeah, press the A button to jump. Next is a domino. Press A button again while jumping the twirl. If you hold the A button, you'll be fl you'll float. Oh look! That's one of the children. Another memory. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Oh, that's Alice's mom. All right, another memory. Amanita Muscaria, Alice. I think that's Isn't Alice's really dad, Mr. Little. A spongy There's a keyhole over there. But poisonous. But we will discuss it when we go over there. So that that purple-looking watery thing. I think it's a a potion. We're about to find I've out. Been down this road before. Good things in small packages. Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. <laughs> My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Shall I disappear? That's a shrink potion. Mm. She shrunk. But the upside is that while smaller. You can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Quite. 
forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Oh, look. There's a syringe. Well, they'll be to shrink. But while shrunk, Alice will gain shrink sense. This will show the picture of the Duchess and the basket. Press X. Look how small she's become. All curled up. She's barely there. A vixen in her hidey hole. That's Dr. Prey. Dr. Priss, by the way. Why is Alice hiccuping? Seriously, why in the world is she hiccuping? Jump on that toadstool. And there's a violet over there. If you stay in there, you, you will recover your health. All it leaves are teeth. Yeah, teeth are the objects in this game. It's like money. When you collect teeth, you can use them to upgrade your weapons. Okay. Collect some teeth. It's important. Alright. Let's see what's over here, shall we? We'll go down. Picture of these imps shrink, and there's a memory. Let's pick it up. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa that memory is behind soon, is a rock. Jump on the blue toadstool, and we're gonna go sliding, which kind of reminded me of Super Mario 64. Where Mario has to go sliding in Princess Peach's castle. When he makes it to the goal, he will get a power star. Yeah, let's try collecting teeth and destroying some objects. Wow. The golden, te golden tooth are worth 10 teeth. Why is blood on the ground? Why is the river covered in blood, exactly? Left trigger. There's that dragon over there. A skeletal dragon, that is. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. Whoa. Did the Cheshire Cat use telekinetic powers to give the sword to Alice? I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Seriously, why in the world is the Vorpal Blade covered in blood? The Vorpal Blade. Go, s go snickersnack. It leaves them dead. As seen in a previous poem. Vorpal Blade inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range. Alright. Press X to attack with the Vorpal Blade. Like this. Break objects and you will get a lot of teeth. Let's see if there's anything else right here. No, nothing else. Oh, the skeleton dragon just disappeared. How crazy. How friggin' crazy. Pick up the syringe. Flight or fight implies a person. Flight often just means Yeah, the fight. these so objects are a limited time only. Wisely, you can backtrack when you beat the game. As if I recall right. That, that rose will recover your health. Because when you run out of roses, you fail the mission and you will start from the checkpoint. Yeah, we got a new enemy. The main enemy in this game are called Insidious Ruin. Ruins. Pull left trigger to focus on an enemy. Press X to feed. Ow! You gotta, those things... Their heads just fell off. Why are they coming in here? That's how these dogs are in the car. They're all jumping. Gross and evil in a single monstrosity. They are gross. Okay, when the enemies are defeated, the tree roots disappear. Alright. Now move on. Why don't we check it over there and see if there's any collectibles? Let's look at the wall. That's an insidious ruin picture. 
Now let's go. In the glasses is a memory of Dr. Bumby. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave Boing. to memory. Memories must be strictly managed. Here. Yes. Unproductive nope. ones must be eliminated. Yeah, there are bottles in every chapter. To beat this game, you had to be get all five chapters in the game. Well, well, anyway, while jumping, press and hold A to initiate Alice's float. To further extend float, press and hold the A button again while jumping. Floats can be used multiple times while jumping. Check up there. And this is a bottle. A gold. There are two types of bottles in the game. One is gold and one is blue. Another bottle. Break these snail shells. And carry on, Alice. Oh. There's a golden tooth and two white teeth. And there's the Duchess. Ah, oh, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. Oh my You'll find God. that grinder serviceable. Is it that just a Why cannibal not or something? Your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin pigs. needs protection from pig the snow. disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Yeah. Good. She has a good point, Alice. And, oh, what do we got here? A pepper grinder. The Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savory snouts. Ah, the door just magically opened. Haha. <laughs> right. Then we have a new annoying enemy over here. That one's called the Vulture Fly. Pull left trigger to focus on an enemy. Pull right trigger to fire the pepper gun. Right, you have to destroy the hives so that no swarms will attack you. While focus, move right stick to the static hive. Another one! These Vulture Flies are new fitted bolts with wings on When they grab Alice, it will bite her and drain the health out of you. Ah, let's check over here and see. Oh! More bad guys. Come on. Yeah, when your pepper grinder reaches all the way to red, it overheats. But when a boulder fight grabs you, you have to dodge. Another thing you see over here. And there's a pig snout flying. Throughout every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Enter any mode and shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it will reveal pets and collectibles. Look, there's a bottle over there. Keep an ear out for snouts, okay? Let's see here. I'll pepper this bad boy up. Ding! Hi, ah, it's going to the Duchess's door. Ha ha! Let's break that object. Whoa, jump. 
I like the sound of clattering teeth. Whenever Alice collects one of the teeth. I hear clattering bone sound like. Now let's get into the Duchess's house. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Alright, she leaves you a Duchess her basket. Write the Duchess basket to receive a reward. You got four golden teeth. And the door hole magically opens. Shrink. And get the heck out of there. When you see a stopwatch, that's auto safe. There's another snout over here. When you smell pepper, you sneeze. Huh. Vulture flies appear. So all we're gonna do is kill those. Let's go down there and see if we can find some. Oh! More butterfly hides! Where'd you come from? I'm gonna break some shells. Uh oh. Insidious ruin over there. There's a different type of shell. Rainbow shell. And some of these objects drop rows. Let's see here. Any collectible here? No. Probably not. Jump on the t jump on the red toadstool. Destroy these insidious ruins by standing your way. Let's keep an ear out for the snouts. There's that snout flying in the forest. Ding! the shelves. Let me give you some questions. Have you ever read the story called Alice in Wonderland? If you did, Finish your please let me know. Bovine juveniles gave their all for it. When you see a seaweed or a feather, that's, that's the nanny. And there's a snow globe. Does that look like a bovine turtle? Like the mock turtle? Good grief. What kind of these dominoes? Jump on them. Oh, there's a golden tooth by the waterfall. Uh, jump, twirl, land on the domino. Wait for it. There we go. Jump. Haha. Uh -huh. See here. Two ruins and a skull. Statue of Alice and with all these slithering ruins. They're the lowest e rank enemies. Pretty annoying. If you can kill them, they, they die easily in one hit. Especially when you use the Vorpal Blade. These guys can also hide in objects when you're going to one. Okay. Let's go over there. Jump on the, jump on the mushroom. Drink. So that the rock disappears and you enter in the door hole. And we get... 
A bottle. A booyah. And two golden teeth. Shrink. Let's see here. Is there anything else? Nope. Nothing else. Nothing. The glasses and the, and the footing is destroyed, and we got heat geysers. Boing. Boing. Totally the annoying and insidious ruins. Jump over there. I'm gonna get over there to get that glasses. Flash. Pick out the glasses. The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming, but inefficient. Noise and smoke, like steps and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle as conductor. Oh, no, I don't think that will do at all. Ah. The, tree tree. the blossom tree just fell into the ground. And it disintegrated. And there's an insane child over there laughing. Mm. I know. That butterfly is insane as well. Die. More of these. Yeah. Oh, die. Hollow vest. Read this as your life depended on it, because it does. Gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gate. Friends can use the choppers and will improve your weapon's capacity. The, the hollow vest will help you upgrade your weapons. The Vorpal Blade. When you have enough teeth for your upgrade, I'll take them from you and upgrade your weapon. Would you like to upgrade your Vorpal Blade or Pepper Grinder? I'm going to use Vorpal Blade. blade. You, it costs 150 teeth. Alright, better weapons will increase your chance of survival in Wonderland. Keep an eye on your tooth counter. You need a hundred and you need six hundred and seventy-five teeth. To upgrade the pepper grinder, you need four hundred and seventy-five teeth. Well, let's get out of here. The train pieces just fell into the had to always hate oblivion. mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Uh, Haddon is not a fan of mechanical stuff. Hey, she's talking about the Mad Hatter. Right. Just and the children is entering into the tunnel. The train tunnel. Ah! Where did you come from? Uh, the boulder just blocked the entrance, so there is no way out. No going back this time, Alice. Alright. Oh, I hear it's an earthquake. Rocks coming out of the ceiling. Slide, we. Oh, here we got teapots. Why is the, why is an area full of teapot houses? We have a new enemy. Those green freaks are called the Mad Caps. I think they're working for the Mad Hatter. These guys are going to be very annoying. They're there for it, and they're foolish to attack out. 
Ah, that mad cat just got the counter tape. They lose their hat. Okay, when the enemies are defeated, we face off an enemy that carries a shield. Alice can dodge enemy attacks. Come on. It's like a gladiator war. Better make sure to lure that lure him so his fork can get stuck and I can attack him. And he just got decapitated. Wow. Let's see if there's anything else like collectibles. Nope. Probably not. There's another guy. He just fell. Dead. Yeah, the shield is really annoying. Let's finish him off. Let's see. On the puff, the mushroom just appeared. Cool. What's this? A madcap skeleton. Why is there a skeleton in that armor? Gather some teeth. There we go. Jump on the mushroom. Proceed. Lost and don't know where to go? Try using shrink where the violets grow. Well, shrunk. Shrink senses will reveal hidden path and clues. Yeah, those platforms are invisible. Yep. And let's go into this door hole. The keyhole is what I'm going to recall. That's what I'm going to call it. Bottle. And that's it. Nothing else. Get out of here, Alice. Get out of here. More teeth. We shrink. There's a cologne. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but oh, I now. trust Mr. Dickens. Spontaneous combustion is really bad. Oh, the platform just appeared, and the mushroom just sprouted. Jump on it. And destroy the Duchess back. This is where the cable car is at. This sucks to call the cable car. That is one loud noise. There's a cable car shaped like a teapot. Mm. And we're going to be heading to Hatter Industries. as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. 
Oh, why are Dodos flying? He knows more about Dodos don't even you. fly. But They're does he know more about the difference between bad Why are butterflies attacking the Making cable car? Friends, Alex. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So dear. <laughs> oh, we crashed. All these stupid butterflies made us crash. Huh, I'm alive. I've made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. I'm just wearing a different dress. Some vents need to be activated by turning valves. While on the vent, you can rotate out. To exit the vent, press A or simply move away from it. Curious now. Oh, probably need to That now has got to be here somewhere. Jump on the vent. And there's a memory. Lizzie, remember when a burst of steam blew your dress up around your neck? Just outside Harrods it was. Fortunate your undergarments had been <laughs> laundered. See here, where's that stupid snout? Just turn the valve so that the vents will appear. And there's a mad cap jumping onto another platform. Let's check one more time at least. Find that. Where's that stupid snout? I'd rather focus from now on. Event. Cap. Chopped his head off. Oh yeah. Invisible platform coming your way. Shrink for now. Whoa! What are you doing? Jump. Jump on my invisible platform. That snout that I'm hearing is right over there. All I gotta do is pepper up that snout. Did it. Once we pepper it up, the vents show up. Now jump on it. So that we can get that bottle. <laughs> cool. Go back to the vent. See if I can get some. right here. The valve. Let's go over there. Violets. The objects. Shrink. Stupid invisible wall. Bottle. Can we destroy that object? No items dropped. Especially the teeth of the rose. that lever right so that the gear goes away and we got light bulb like fireflies look at these dodos being cooked 
Let's go over there. And kill these mad cats. If a grind is just overheating, and another mad cat, you got to beware. No, I died! Well, let's go back and look what's over there. Shrink, please. Oh, him. Him again. Take that. Always drop health. Shrink. Now let's go back. Alright. Jump on the vent. Platform. Land on the gear. Floating gear. And kick the crap out of that mad cow. Jumping on the air vents. Get to the gear which comes over here. Jump on the air vent. We're floating. What are we hearing? Who are these mad cats? Where did these guys come from? In those shit guys? Why are so mad cats have to be this annoying? Decapitation. Okay, now the door opens. dead. Where is the snout when you need one? If we jump on that platform, it's right behind me. Not exactly. Oh, don't fall, Alice. It's inside. The dead donors work. And a little memory. My heart is open, Alice. Break the basket. Never closed. Never locked. It needs no key. All good. 
for now, let's get out of here. Event. Here. Oh wow, there's another platform. Cool. All cool. Let's turn the valve. When you turn on the valve. The air vent appears. But let's, let's check over here. What's in this area? Annoying madcaps and a little family memory. Oh, um, Bricks are rocks, Alice. A brick house, like Gibraltar, is impervious to fire, weather, and the indecencies of Barbary macaques, should the need arise. Yep. Fire is weak against, is impervious to rock. Rocks are impervious to fire, you know. Stop rushing. When you fall in a bottomless pit or touch traps, she turns she explodes into butterflies and you have to be the one when you checkpoint. Should probably wait until the gear floats now. Come on! Yeah. I hear oinking. Jump over there. Behind the platform. Whoa. Cover up that snout. So that the vent floats up. And you can jump on it. Cool. Get a bow. Let's get in here. Break some more of this metal box. How about instead use the pepper grinder? Just in case we fight these slithering. I don't want to waste health. Sometimes I do. Oh crap, I hear blanking. Jump over there. Floating. Why do they have so many wings? Let's jump over there in that that keyhole. Oh, a shrunk. We get another syringe from Doctor Pree. Alice was off now. An interior to learn some child, I suspect. Her sister, though loving and much loved, was too old to be a playmate. Alice's older sister's name is Lizzie. Can't even tell if she, whether she's older than Alice or not. What's that Alice? Alice has black hair. Is she some sort of emo or something? Can't tell. Alright, let me jump over there. We got a new enemy. And that it that that's an iPod. A mechanical iPod monster. Teapot monster is gonna be very annoying. And he's gonna use his claws to attack. Eyeball is his weak point. And he's also gonna eat hot tea at you. The pepper grinder is a stun. He's steamed. 
Gotta attack the eyeball when it's open. Haha. Oh, the platform just rise up. Two platforms. Not just two of them. You got more baddies. That eye part can, can squirt tea. Hot tea, I see. burn. You land on it. Um. Ow! so that we can jump on the vent and land on that top one. Hey, you are. There's another icon? I'm dodging. Oh, you put me in the this room. No! No collectibles here. The door opens. Press select so the Cheshire Cat can help. He's you. obsessed with time. Find him, or your own time may be short. <laughs> yeah, my time may be short. Step on the pad so that the elevator goes down. Well, you better hurry and land on it. Press it again. Rush yourself off, girl. The Hatter should see you at your best after all. Objects? Jump over there. Press a tea waterfall. A hot tea waterfall, that is. Door's locked over there, so we're gonna have to press that valve up there. Has anybody ever watched the Disney Alice in Wonderland movie in the cartoon? Alright. How about we carry on this time? Teeth. There's a secret area. This one leads to the bottle. These invisible platforms is one, two. Three. Wait for it. Four. Jump on top and collect that bottle. Oh yeah. Anyway, get out of here. Okay, and on the pad, the door opens. Well, you better be real quick about it. Pull the lever. Now the door opens. 
Then slide. We. Hare and Dormir are masters of deceit. Why not? Pigs fly here. Like March Hare. And Dormouse. And here we got a clockwork bomb. Some walls and floors are weak and can be destroyed. Place the clockwork bomb near the weak surface. Detonate the clockwork bomb to destroy the weak surface. Press B to control the clockwork bomb. Watch the timer. Get that teeth. There we go. Press the B button to detonate the clockwork bomb. You can see the timer appear, icon appear. If it reaches all the way, kaboom! Press B, kaboom! It's as simple as that. Right. Destroy the weak wall. Yeah, some of the floors are weak. So I would recommend you using the clockwork bomb. Ah, when you destroy the crates, a mushroom will appear. Ah. This leads to the bottle. By bottle, I meant the memory. Destroy these crates. In the jar, shrink, get in the keyhole, collect that memory. We'll all roast in our beds, Alice, for the sake of your father's unnatural devotion to printed paper. This hoard of flammables wants only a malignant spark and poof, our flesh and blood is smoke and ash. Hey look, there's a door. Press the second one skip. One of insidious ruins. When Alice's health is low, hysteria becomes available. Enter hysteria by clicking the left stick. While in hysteria, Alice cannot be heard and will inflict more damage. Be careful, hysteria only lasts for a limited time. Alice will then go berserk. Or she could start killing enemies and looking for help. Reminded me of Wolverine. And Dead Island would have a terrible kind of rage mode. Huh. Now that the enemies die, the door to the switch opens. Enter Amy Mode by clicking the right stick. Shoot the switch when, the, when it's red and inactive. When it turns green, it's activated. Alright, better make sure to hit that switch. If you don't do it all the way, and if, if your pepper grinder gets overheated, you'll have to start again. And make sure that, that that hand goes all the way so that it turns green and the platforms go down. Jump. Jump over there and who's there? Oh! Mad Hatter! He's into pieces! Let's go and try to wake! No, because no. Bad dream. Oh, is he? Is he muttering? Hatter, I recall leaving you in a decrepit condition, but what? What? not in pieces. Oh, it's you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat. And some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely missed their missing. As to what's happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know He's a place? really funny character. Or how to keep it. Now what's going on? He's got a gear on his back. Ah, what's going on? Round it up and down into my ears and through my eyes, not my nostrils, down my gullet and whining in my guts. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. 
I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the Looking Glass line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious. The light, blinding. The noise, hellacious. Ah, oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down. He grabbed him by the inmates by the gear. The asylum. No thanks. And worst of all, I'm left tealess. Tragic. Tealess. If I do help, will you help me in return? Matt Hatter must my love tea. If I had one, find my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now. That's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the clock face. You gotta get to the clock face and find the Hatter's missing limbs, including his arms and legs. And his hat. His hat is his accessory. That's for sure. Start by destroying every object. When they respawn, if you destroy them when it, after respawning, you can't get the teeth. Yeah. Work the weak wall and pick up the bottle. Pressure pads function only when weight is applied. The clockwork bomb can be used to maintain weight on, on a pressure pad. Gotta destroy that weak wall over there, guys. Boom. And nothing else. Whatever. Make sure you place the pressure pad on the... Place the clockwork bomb on the pressure pad. Get onto that elevator, Alice. Before it detonates. The bomb detonates. Ah! It's still ticking. Why is the clockwork bomb still ticking? When it, when you're in hysteria, the health only they only you kill enemies when you're in hysteria. They only drop health, not teeth. Oh wow, we're on top of the factory. And an umbrella just appeared. Oh my god. And there's another snout. And I hear Dormouse's annoying voice. A syringe just appeared. Shut up. It's been years now, Alice. Time to put away childish things. Okay. Pick up the parasol. The umbrella. Press A while focus to block with Alice's umbrella. By pressing left trigger and A. If timed correctly, Alice's block can deflect certain enemy attacks. Which we're going to be facing, in fact. A new enemy called Menacing Lord. These guys are very annoying. He throws fireballs at you. You have to destroy the army to deflect the fireballs. Then you can aim the attack. You can't fight them when their arms are exposed. Yeah, these guys can throw fights at you. And they also do a fireball punch to hit you. Oh, why is he blocking? Ha. Ah. Serves you right, buddy. When the menacing ruin is defeated, Two red switches pop up. Alright. Let's start over here. Pepper it up so that the gears go over here. You jump on them and jump here and strike those up. Now get on that teacup cart. We're heading into Dormouse's lair. Uh oh. Dormouse. We're in a factory full of lava. Steps to enlighten me, frighten me away. But the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. I hear you. Shut up, Dormouse. 
You said it already now. Shut up. Alright. Cover up that thing. Watch out for lava that's dripping. Why is he tackling? Decadence, excess waste, the Hatter, and Madness and today. Shut up, Dormouse. Embrace industry and embrace efficiency, your new leaders. Sadists, are they? Let's see here, are there any collectibles? What we got is a ruin and an iPod. Oh, the just disappeared. There's no going back. Gotta deal with ru insidious ruins. iPod. Ow! That hurt! That hurt, you son of a gun. Okay. There's a bottle over here. Wait until the water geyser goes down. Flip the bottle. Watch out for the tea! And there's another one over here. Memory. Come on, jump over there, Alice. Cover it. With gas laid on, Alice, we'll go to Brighton on what we save on beeswax and oil. Beeswax and oil. Dead. There's a lot of teapots spewing out lava. Come on, jump. Let's go down over here on that platform and get inside. There's nothing but pipes here. Shrink. Pull the lever. Oh, the platform just raised up. A lot of platforms. And the, and the cage lid goes down. Now the door opens. Jump on that platform. Here for the wallow. Oh my god! I can't see it coming! Let's jump over there. Wait for the platform to go down. Wait. Wait until this platform raises up, Alice. Ow! Hey, stupidness. Clearing ruins? Flip the lever to cool the metal. Flip the lever to cool the metal. Why aren't these 
these iPods to stay out of my face. Wait for his eye to open. I'll kill you. Jump on these five. This leads to the, the valve. This is the snow globe. Come on. Oh, lava is coming out of the spikes. It will damage Alice. Let's start burning the throat So that I thought For the Cyclops Half Teapot, half Cyclops Wait, where are these weights? Now turn the valve Once you turn the valve Lava cools down to metal. Um, cooling metal. Whoa. And butterflies nest. Gotta destroy all of them. Get into the hang of things. Let's go down there. You are the fourth of life. Man, are they so annoying. And Get his butt. Before he counters me. And he does a headbutt. Pipes at me. Oh my god. Booyah. Anyway, let's go back down and kill that iPod. Pepper him up. Uh oh. Menacing ruin. Why are there so many annoying ruins over there? Ah! Uh, we got it. a bottle after picking up that snout. Jump. And there's a keyhole over there. Now get in there. Nothing but teeth in there. Quit hiccuping, Alice. We're gonna get an acid reflux if you keep hiccuping. Let's look under there. Nope. There's nothing else here. Jump onto that pot. Into another pot so that we can get that middle memory. Don't curse the darkness or the cold when you're in the library at night. Upgrade the verbal blade for faster, more effective attacks. Okay. There's no going back right now. Looks like we're in a preheated oven. 
right? No, we're not. Kind of reminded me of you. You have to show what Yusuke said while fighting Miyako. Press select. Steady now. Gather your nerve. Jump for the first, then, and the next. Bend the currents up. That switch so that the vent will float. Jump on it. Let's get the heck in there. Sort of the wall. Shrink. Keep going. Get teeth. And this leads to where the snout is. Pepper it up. What does he give you? That's just this basket. Yeah. And more golden teeth. Shrink, please. Come on. A switch needs needs to be peppered. <laughs> Gotta be where that switch is. Alright. More vents. That tooth. We let's get in there. Collect some more teeth. Oh, and another in ruin. Jump over it. Whoa! Why is this? Why does it have to be invisible walls blocking me? You're making me fall. After activating the switch, got more vents. As a matter of fact, I should probably jump over there instead. At least the insidious ruin. At least the slithering ruin didn't show up. Teeth. Put the bomb on the pressure pad. No! Camera's driving me. Ah! Controls are going reverse. Sorry, guys. Should have seen that one coming. can't jump up there, you've got to jump on these air vents. Which I keep messing up. <sighs> this is starting to get on my nerves right now. But I digress. Let's try this again. Let's try you don't move this time. Now move. And that's better. Select. I see a cat has nine lives, Alice. 
I hope you have as many. <laughs> Cats do have nine lives. Now we turn the valve. Jump on the vent. Whoa. Land on the gear. Fall. Pick up some teeth. Oh yeah. We got some madcaps. I pot. And this oh not the shield boot again. You can also destroy the shield by using the bomb. You can at least destroy it. Oh, it works! Much more easier to kill these annoying madcaps. And I hate the shield guys, they annoy me. Oh wow. What does this lead to? Let's let's jump over here and, and collect that bottle. Kill that annoying thing, little annoying. Right. Got plenty of health. That's all I... That's all. Boy. No pig snout. That door is locked. Your presence here door is mouse. unwelcome. We have a mission to complete, and you are an intolerable annoyance. Some like it hot, but no one likes it this hot. <laughs> <laughs> this laugh really gets me. I'm gonna have to jump on these platforms. Watch out for the first. Spinning out lava. Under. That is annoying. I thought. Oh! Stupid iPods. Why do they have to be this annoying? Jump. Stop rushing. I have to cover it. And the platforms just appeared. And, and lava coming out of the pipes is worse. Wait for it. Let's go now. Kind of reminded me of Zelda. Turn the valve and Star Fox Adventure. Turn on the valve. I've got the, the lava you cools. need. Well, strictly speaking, the Hatter needs them. Well, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to crush you. Wow, he's really threatening me. I'll let you do it, Dormouse. You psycho. Right. The wall. And there's a. Why is it made out of metal? And we got butterfly nests. Get away from me! Alright, 
Cover up that switch. And the valve just appeared. Get some violet. Let's see what's in there. A bottle. Golden tooth. Come on. Jump on the platform and get on the valve. No, 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 not the bow. Take that then. The path less traveled is now impossible to negotiate. Ha 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 Yes, I can, you crazy mouse. Oh, there's an invisible bridge over here. We got them. lava coming out of there. Which is bad enough. Shrink and jump. Pick up some teeth. Nice. Or the boiling lava. Ow. Can't they ever stop? Take that. And the door just fell into the lava. I'm gonna go over there and break that object. Better avoid that lava spilling out. Pepper this ba bad boy up. Once you pepper it up, we got metal platforms coming out. Yes. This is an insidious ruin over there. Now turn the valve. A temporary setback. A minor hindrance. A trivial impediment. <laughs> I'll just move along. I'll deal with you later, Alice. You'll never stop our grand plan. <laughs> <laughs> What grand plan? And after turning the valve, the lava just turned into metal. Which is really nice. Because I hate lava. They can burn everything that touches. Jump on the vent. And get in there where Dormouse escaped. Pull the lever. <laughs> The door opens and two arms fell in. Two arms have fallen in so that we can go into that hole. We just came out of the air vent. Boom. Mobility will make a nice change. Expect no thanks until I'm completely reconstructed. No resting on laurels. Oh, the bottle just regenerated. I think he's lounges, retrieve his legs now. Ming folding chair. Next, we're gonna retrieve his legs. Uh, stools. Uh, uh. <laughs> the hydra just makes me laugh. Now let's go back up. Alright. Uh-oh. 
We're going over there. To another working area. Where we can find Matt Hatter's leg. something banging. Kinda look like we're in the icy mines. Like a factory. A lot of gears. Ugh. The dimensions of this desolate are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Yep. Oh, Dormouse's voice again. Does he know when to shut up? And there's a mechanical foot over there blocking your way. He's gonna cover up that switch. No! It's overheated! So we're gonna have to try again. It's made the East End into a privy. Consider simple farm life in Australia, perhaps. We might liquidate there. what remains of your inheritance. We collect the pen to hear Ratcliffe's voice. Alright. Up over there. Let's check. Let's see what we got here, shall we? Yeah, that's an invisible wall. Wait till the gear goes down. Bang. Let's jump up there. Okay, the crates. This thing leads to the keyhole. Better make sure we don't get hit by those fists and, and being stomped on. Wow. So that so that's the weak wall over there. Don't let it hit you. Okay. Yeah, I was right. This leads to the mushroom and to the keyhole. And not just that, bottle. Clockwork bottle and the pressure pad. Jump on the hand. Jump over here. Hey, what's that up there? Let me just hurry up. Okay, when the bomb is blown up, the cogs go down. Nothing more. Whoops! 
You gotta shrink. the gears go up. But for now you gotta jump on them. Watch the time limit. Give you a clockwork bomb. Coming by. I better stay away from those. Come on, die. Those fists have to be so annoying. How do you like clockwork time? Because it's not very effective. Nice. Don't touch the fist. You're next, you iPod scum. Once all the enemies are done, the fists stop. Talk about that switch. Booyah! Now the doors are opened. We pick up the glasses. Some insects eat their young, Alice. They have much to teach us, alive or dead. They're young? What does that even mean? Why would insects eat their young? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we got an area full of dodos and cages. And there's a snout. Booyah. What does he give you? A golden bottle. <laughs> Booyah. Why are those dodos dead? They, they look like cyborg dodos. What are you doing? What are you... Come on. Jump on those cages. Pepper up that switch. <laughs> you see those dodos exercising? They got a clockwork key on their back. Oh, 
Shut up. Dodos are extinct. Yet they can't fly. Ah! We're gonna place that clockwork bomb over here and hold up. There's a lever. Pull it so that the vent pops up. Jump on it. Some teeth. What do we got here? A memory. And there's a switch. <laughs> ah, they're rotating switches. Rotating cages. Ooh. Let's jump in that cage and collect that memory. Havard's cage and the canary goes to sleep, Alice. Out like a snuffed candle. Sleeps the sleep of the just. Like Mama and Papa. After ten, they're unconscious. Destroy the crates. Man, that's a lot of memory. It's gonna be hard to find collectibles and stuff. Your dogged persistence will be rewarded with pain! Mock hair. I told you to cease and desist, but my warning goes unheeded. Oh, so it is his limbs. You're about to feel like a lobster. The hatter's limbs, that is. Into the boiling pot. Oh man, he's got kind of an Irish accent. Mock hair. And he's moving fast. And more mechanical fists and feet. Move faster. Gotta avoid it. Don't let it touch you. Go. Oh, wow. Please. Go. Don't touch that top fist. There we go. Put it over there. The cogs just go up. Slithering ruin just popped up. Now pull the lever. And the fist just ah, went down. Oh, he gets Buster even faster. Don't stop now. Are they gonna get tired from working out? Seriously, this is not a gym. Destroy that that nest. Okay. Hide the hives destroyed. Hurry up, Alice. And got the nice room. You can't attack him when his arms are exposed. I deflected it. It's just the umbrella. Clean it up. I didn't deflect it yet. I'm gonna kill these punks. Come oh, on, stay out of my way. I'm not gonna defeat you with an inch of your life, you punk. 
Yeah, that doesn't work. You gotta, you just gotta attack it with a fireball. Oh! You're better off by staying close to Because I'm just getting started. Oh, I'm just going to Pepper up that switch. Once you pepper up that switch, the iron fist will move up. And there's a weak wall over there. I'll pull the lever. And the cage elevator just appeared. That is mad. He's mad now. Let's drink over there. Pick up that bottle. Go back in there. Now get in the cage. I should wait. Wait. Oh my god! I don't mean wait. Just pick up the teeth. Wait. At least there's no room here. Cool. Another shrink. Don't let go of the LP. Whoa. Come on. Seriously, come on. Pull the lever. This one. The door is open. No, stop! That's enough now! Now, oh, stop! You're running, you blithering idiots! <laughs> He's better than Irish Jackson. You think that can stop us? The nearest tribal. I'll be leaving now. Never catch me. Don't even try. <laughs> His accent makes me laugh. He said, you blithering idiots! Like withering idiots. Alright, we gotta go over there to, do that, to where that lever is. Oh! Pull the lever. And the limb just went into the hole. Booyah! Going down! His arms. Whoa, he's like an android from Dragon Ball Z. Is he a robot? 
He got his turns fixed. And got his hat. That was a little bit tattered. I finished my work and you're complete, Tatter. Now, what about this damnable train? <laughs> I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who. Who knows how to measure rules? With a ruler! Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come. The least you can do is help me discover what's going on. Don't leave in the bits, Alice. Uh-oh. You can fly up and shoot the man. Ooh. Broke the clock. Piggyback ride. And he jumps. Who is he like? The Iron Giant? <laughs> oh, we made it out alive. And there's a spout over here. Pepper it up, Alice. Booyah. Let's see what we've got. Oh look, there's burning ink over there. Don't touch it, you will take damage. Recover memory. Papa, your enthusiasm for photography makes the library smell like rotted fruit. I'm certain these solutions are that annoying Dormouse again. You need to shut up. Get this door open. Yeah, Matt Hatter will get the door opened. He jumps fast. Wearing a clockwork form in a combat has multiple benefits. It will divert enemies and damage them when detonated. Let's check how many we have. Chapter 1. The Hatter must be found, Alice, and pl placed Kate. ignored his checkered past. Ignore his checkered past. You know he's a mercurial, undependable route, but necessary. Just saw our cat. 
We missed two bottles and one pig snout and three memories. Wow. But let's finish this. Carry on. I'll deal with them later. Off stream. Come on, get the memory. Whoever said there is no book so bad but something good may be found in it never read Martin Farquhar Tupper's proverbial philosophy. Wow. Right. Now we hear this an earthquake. Like an earthquake. What's happening? Do I really look like I know? Your judgment must be severely impaired. She's trying to unlock the door. Oh, we're gonna be jumping onto these platforms. Yeah. Let's take a this now. Jump over there and explain this thing. Glitch, don't you think? Oh, there's a switch over there. Shoot that switch to activate the door. It's going clockwise. No, shrink. Shrink. Going. Doing really great. Force. Okay, go down, cut your teeth, place the clockwork bomb on the crack floor. Alright, I'm coming. Pull the lever. Door opens, matter goes ahead and kicks down that door. Okay, now shrink. Two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left. You're too the late. The insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers, delightful. It's Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Uh -oh. ah, put me down. Down this instant, I ought to be enough talk. <laughs> Battle time, Missy. Who are you calling Missy, Dormouse? Oh, great. Now we're dealing with Mock Hair and Dormouse. Took the map. Abandon false hope. Forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> Let the oh, madness begin. Resume the folly. Big oh, oh no. And the robot just broke the pieces. Uh. And Dormouse and Mock Hair, March Hair fell. And the Mad Hatter's been released. Nice. Let's skip that. Got two sailors over there. 
caught me very own ribbon now. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. And got plans for her. Take her over to the Mangle Mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. Just cough it up. Do you think you're doing? What comes natural like? Not natural to me. Get away. <laughs> a nasty sailor. Right. The white cat reminds me of my snowdrop. Nanny knew her. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this stream for now. Chapter two: Hard labor evidently exhausts more than muscles. I hope Nanny's still working at the Mangled Mermaid. Alice, there are fifteen snouts and fifteen memories and four redula rooms, and you have to paint the rose red by collecting all four roses so that you can upgrade your health. And there are 16 bottles in this chapter. Again, I'm ending this stream, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000 k I will see you in Chapter 2. See you then.